in the previous lecture we have discussed that why digital signals are so important or why we have moved from analog system or analog signals to a digital signal or digital systems. Today we will be discussing about what is a digital signal or uh, how we define a digital signal rather. We have already discussed that analog signals are continuous time signals or analog signals are the one which are readily available in nature, they are the original ones and I have also told that digital signals are not the original signals, they are the signals derived from analog signals for our convenience. The reasons being uh, less requirement of power, reduction of size of the electronic devices and less prone to error also. Now, let me tell you that what is a digital signal? A digital signal is basically a discrete time signal. To be very specific, it is a discrete time, discrete value signal, but more importantly, it is a discrete time signal. What is meant by that? Compared to analog signal, let me draw one analog signal first. So, we have discussed that analog signals are continuous in time signals, continuous time signals. So, this is the time axis and this is the amplitude axis and here at each and every point of time it has got some value or the other. One analog signal is a continuous time signal where at each point of time it has got some value or the other. Whereas, a digital signal is a discrete time signal which has got values at discrete instants of time. That means, if we or in other words, a digital signal is one analog signal sampled in time. That means, we are taking suppose this is a continuous analog signal, continuous time signal or analog signal. If you take out some values at some discrete time instants, then it becomes a digital signal. Now, I have sampled the analog signals at discrete instants of time. Now, let me plot it like this. So, these are the different values at different instants of time. So, this analog signal now has become a digital signal. Now, this is this part is a digital signal. This is also time axis and this is the amplitude. So, from these two you can clearly understand that what is an analog signal, what is a digital signal. This part the continuous part where each at each and every point of time it has got a value some value or the other that is an analog signal, a continuous time signal where it has got value at each and every point of time. Whereas, when I am taking samples at discrete points of time, then we are telling that it is a digital signal. That means, digital signals, this is a digital signal. So, this is basically a digital signal, it is a discrete time discrete value signal that means it is existing at discrete instants of time, not at each and every point of time. So, the basic definition I hope that it is clear that it is a discrete time signal compared to analog signal which is a continuous time signal, the difference being analog signal has got value at each and every point of time during its existence, whereas a digital signal does not have value at each and every point of time during its existence. Definition wise analog signals are continuous time, continuous value or continuous time discrete value signals and a digital signal is a discrete time discrete value signal 
which has got values at discrete instants of time. In the next lecture, we will discuss digital signals in detail that how this having values at discrete instants of time, you know, improves power saving, improves or you know, reduces the chance of getting affected by error and other relevant topics.